Greetings and welcome to Blue Rage Gaming. This is video one of one. Yeah. Here's the intro video. Uh, so yeah, brand new channel. If you subscribe, you're likely to be the first subscriber. In which case, you will have my eternal gratitude. Now, this is a gaming channel that is for normal gamers. I will swear, I will rage quit. I may come back to the game. You may learn something. Um, but yeah, this is for normal gamers. This is normal gamers who don't always get to the end game of games. You'll probably learn something until I get to the point where I just can't be anymore because it's just too much of a faff Dyson Sphere program hence episode one Dyson Sphere program um, and also things like oxygen not included maybe theme hospital uh, or two-point hospital showing me age um, uh, transport fever um, rim world <laughs> what sounds rude it sounds like a channel <laughs> But yeah, there's a little taste of the kind of humour you can expect. Toilet humour. So here we are in actual Dyson Sphere program. Um, we're going to start a new game. I'll uh, leave the initial screen up just for a sec. So if you want to screenshot it, uh, we're leaving it at the number of stars 64. If I go and explore any more than one, <laughs> it'll be a miracle. Blah, 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 blah. The main aim of the game is to build a Dyson Sphere power collector around a star. Um, Dyson Sphere is still in that early access. It's on like version 0 0.926130034. So this is the intro. We're going to skip that. Just hit escape. Skip prologue. Bosh. We'll get straight into the game. Right. So for any newbies... Read the tutorials, they're actually pretty good, if a little bit chinglishy in, in areas. Um, but yeah, so here in our starting area, you will invariably find some iron, you will find some copper, there'll be trees dotted around, stone, and first thing we want to do is just uh, mine this stuff. So right click and you hold shift. Hit the right click, and we're just going to go bosh, bosh. So we're queuing up some resource collection because this is pretty much all you can do right off the bat. Um, I think you can queue up maybe 20 or, well, tw yeah, 20, I think it is. 15, 20 different instructions. So we'll just let him get on with that. I may fast forward this 303 time. But as you can see down here, we've got our uh, max power. It's just going down and down and down and down and down. And our mech has no fuel in it whatsoever. So we go over to the mech screen. And here we see the fuel chamber. Naff all. Here's your inventory. Um, and right off the bat, right near the beginning, we can use logs and plant fuel. So if you hold shift, it will just transfer the lot. Bosh, bosh. As Sky Storm may say. So. One thing to bear in mind is if you are mining, um, or if you're building over over things mineable, if you build straight over the top of them, you'll lose that resource. Uh, as you're mining, it gives you a count. I'm just going to start off with 10 of each. 10 of copper, 10 of iron. That will get us going. And I'm just going to clear these away so we don't waste it when we start building stuff. Right, so let's just get rid of all these little knick-knacky bits. And there's 
one there. I do not like to waste stuff. Although I may get lazy with it later on. Uh, I know it's boring. First video. But it's got to be done. Okay, so while he's doing that, we're going to go into the research area. As you can see, we are straight in. We already have Dyson Sphere Program. That's just the beginnings of the game. Um, and electromagnetism is the one and only tech you can go straight into. It gives you wind power. It gives you Tesla towers, which are basically power pylons. They just extend your power range. They don't give you more power. They just extend your range. And we get the miners, everything we need to get going. Uh, and we have to build magnetic coils, which take two magnets and one copper. Uh, and that's refined copper or smelted copper. We can't smelt yet because we don't have that tech. But luckily our mech can do that stuff for us. I'm just going to adjust my camera because it's all a bit chinny. That's reasonable. I do apologise about my face in general though. Um, right, so we activate that, and it's saying, hang on a minute, you haven't got any of the stuff you need. Okay, fine, we'll go to the replicator, which is your crafter, um, and what did we need? We needed 10 of these, so because we can already craft magnets and copper ingots, it's, you don't have to do those separately, it will craft, which I think is kind of standard in crafting games, uh, you know, Minecraft and yada yada yada, it'll automatically craft what it needs to craft the final product, if you've got what you need, and as you can see we do. We need 10, so I'm going to say craft 5, we'll do the, do the task 5 times, which will give us 10 of those. Now you can just craft a load of these, but I, to begin with I just like to take each Thing one at a time and if you're new to the game then you know it's just nice to perhaps nice to see how it you know how it works in general so pop back out it's night time our little mech spanning out a bit right electromagnetism we have it whoop and now we can finally get our first miner down doesn't really matter which one you mine first iron or copper uh, little tip, if you hold down shift, you can rotate in like teeny tiny little increments. Um, but you can only go one way, so if you're a little bit out, ah, oh, poo, uh, now I can't get all of them in, you've got to go all the way around. So, that's, you know, is what it is. If you can get any more than six, veins each one of those little circles represents a vein of the stuff then you know six plus is you know, that's that's fine and you see i have no power so it doesn't work so i'm just going to bung some power right next to it just for now we're not going to be particularly tidy and there we go wind power this is essentially your statistics panel which is essentially it's just showing you all the game achievements um as you go along uh, you know, if you like your achievements, you can keep track of that. I'm not fussed. You know, <laughs> achievements are achievements. Okay, so now we're mining. Excellent. These things will store. I believe it's 50. You can see the ore there is counting up. And if you just want to grab that, so you can craft stuff initially, you can just control left mouse button, and it will take the contents, and it will go into your inventory. Uh, I've got a few logs and plant matter, so I'm just going to bung that in my neck. Okay, so now we are happily mining copper ore. Um, what we find is this one wind turbine is perhaps giving us maybe f is, is, this one miner is using f anywhere between sort of 15, 25 to 30 percent of the power that we've got. And obviously, once it fills up, it will just you know, the power usage will go right down. So we've got a whole load of copper. Now, what we want to build is another miner. It, the first few technologies will give you a number, usually one. I think smelters is three. Um, 
but now we need another miner, which we can build because we can we've got enough stuff to build all of the things that we need for another miner. So we'll just produce one. You can produce up to ten of something at any one time. If you want something quicker, I would recommend doing one, 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 because it will then rather than producing all the things it needs to produce the end product ten times and then producing ten of the end products it will do one at a time so you, you will get those things quicker if you need them quicker hope that made some sort of sense uh, right so we're going to craft that little one will pop up here any second here we go and we can start mining these now there's not a huge amount in these starting veins that are right nearby, um, but they will last you long enough to to go through the first couple of first few research. What's it? Thing of me, Bob's. Um, we can build another wind tower. Awesome, or a sky storm would say, awesome source. Um, so yeah, so we got ingots ingots a gear four magnets uh four magnetic coils and then one of those later on you can obviously automate a lot um, you know well the idea is to automate as much as possible um but um yeah uh yeah automate as much as possible um so let's just get this powered up Bosh, um, and then we're on our way. We are now collecting that. I'm just gonna have a look. Right, so we have basic logistics. This will unlock your conveyor belts, your yeah. sorters, um, which sorters is an okay name, but essentially they transfer things on and off the conveyor belts from different facilities. Uh, but you can use them as filters as well so they'll only take one thing and then you've got your storage boxes first few technologies take items crafting items but as soon as you get the first few so that's uh, basic logistics automatic metallurgy for your smelters um, and then the electromagnetic matrix actually allows you to start automating research so it gives you these the cubes which are basically your research points um, matrix labs which can help you speed up research or they can build these matrices um, and then the basic assembly so this is where you really start automating the building of stuff and thereafter they all start needing the research cubes and as you go further up quite a way further up you start getting red ones yellow ones right up to your purple and you know, the the tech tree is really quite big and then mission complete you got yeah your white ones which is basically that's basically end game you're probably producing dyson spheres by that point possibly even before that to be honest um but for now we're just going to get basic logistics which allow us to start storing more stuff um so we're going to activate that we'll have a look to see what we need to build 10 gears 10 circuit boards what can we actually build of that right now gears we can only do two so we need some more iron ore which we can now just grab from that same as we did with the copper ore and we'll make 10 of those lovely and we need circuit boards and we can already make quite a lot of those so we're going to do five because it produces two and as soon as we start getting those then all good stuff product placement I'm in no way affiliated with the Gruffalo coffee of life okay so here we go you see research is starting on that manual research um, 
Now, copper is a weird one. You need it very early doors, mainly for magnetic coils, but then it's quite a long time before you need it again. Iron, on the other hand, you'll need a lot of. So, what I want to do is, as soon as I get this, I want to start storing it. So we have conveyors, sorters, storage, Bosch. So, not so you just click on the uh, click on the facility. This only works for a few things, miners being one of them. Um, so as you can see, our Oh, we've done our first automation. Um, Alright, so these drones come out of your mech. They build stuff. Go to storage. Oh, it doesn't give you one. I thought it gave you one. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to build just two of these for now. They're made out of iron. Iron ingots and stone, which, if you remember, we collected a good chunk of right at the beginning of the game. Um, as you can see, the iron ore is starting to come out. Good. This will store 50. This will store a great deal more. Uh, so, Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. You can see how many points there are to fill up a storage box, and this is the same with any building. Uh, you've got all these points, uh, and that's essentially where you can draw sorters. Uh, and we don't have power, but we do have a Tesla tower, so we'll just extend the power we've got. Boom! It starts running, it starts filling this up. And what it will do is it will limit, limit each chunk to 100, so you've got 30 times 100. So essentially you could store 3,000 um, iron ore in there, which is... A lot um, so I'm just gonna limit you can limit it so it just stops so I'm just gonna limit it to 600 and what I like to do later game is use these as buffers on main kind of, uh, sort of building and automation assembly lines um, so yeah uh, and we're gonna do the same on copper so we'll just head our little mechanoid over here, same again. Just uh, bang that there. I say early game, you can be a little untidy. Now, there is, from what I understand, different schools of thought in how to play this game. There's some people will create planet wide. Um, distribution buses that's fine um, I've tried it I find it deeply unfun and I prefer to do clusters eventually what this cluster I'm building will purely purely be for circuit boards and magnetic coils which are used to produce those blue boxes uh, for research so essentially this cluster here is going to be purely for blue research once it's finished nothing else and then what we're going to do uh, in a later episode is build uh, a mall which is going to produce all the basic things that we need to really get into the game okay so i think with this first episode because we're coming up to about 20 minutes the first episode I just want to get it so we're producing good numbers of uh, ingots which are kind of the basis of everything um, so what we're going to need is conveyors and many of them we've already researched it how many can we build not many uh, so that's because we've not got a lot of iron We've got 23 so we need more iron let's head on over to our iron mining area we should have a good amount in here that we can steal shift click click and I've stolen all that I'll go in here and you'll see I can build a lot more of these and believe me when I say you're gonna need a lot of these 
Uh, bang. And I'm going to need quite a few sorters as well. So I'm just going to do 10 for now. As you can imagine, that's going to take a little bit of time to build. So let's have a look at our research, see what's next. Now we need smelting. Smelting to produce the ingots. So we're going to activate that. Um, go to the replicator. We're going to need coils and circuit boards. Okay, so the first thing to come in will be these. Um, and we're just going to bring this across. And this is all very untidy. It will make more sense eventually. Like I say, I'm not a min-maxer, anything like that. This is not what this channel is about. At all. I keep forgetting I've got a camera right there. Camera one or camera two. Camera two is for other things. Oh, come on. sent an edit. I edited. Okay, a research for smelting. That's all done. So now we can smelt. Uh, so we can create iron ingots. And we can also create some other stuff. So we're gonna we'll just whack one in just for now, just so we can get started. And we're probably powered. We're going to have serious power issues right off the bat here. Um, to, uh, right, uh, so we select a recipe. So as you can see, we can use stone to make glass. We won't need that for a little while. Or we can make our ingots, or magnets, indeed. Um, so copper veins, we can only make copper. Copper ingots. That's it. And don't forget the sorter. These will, in and of themselves, store 100. Uh, I'm just going to make another wind tower. Well, actually, I'll make five wind towers. Because we are struggling for power and that will just slow things down mightily. Now, we should have a whole load of these now. So, I'm going to bring that here. No, I'm not. Well, here-ish. Okay, and we're going to bang another. We're going to bang two smelters in here. One there. No, not one there. That's a stupid place to put it. Uh, and one here. Feed them. Now, one of these is going to make iron ingots. The other one is going to make magnets. And um, we're running out of fuel. Uh, okay. Okay, so we need more power stuff. We're just going to try and make do with what we're getting at the moment. Things do happen a lot quicker once we get into assembling, uh, using the assemblers. Uh, right, we got, uh, let's pop another wind power thing in here. And we'll pop another wind power thing in out of the way over here. And Okay, so that grid is okay. We'll join these grids up soon enough. That grid probably going to want another one because it's got two. I'm just going to bung that somewhere where I don't think I'm going to be building any 
anytime soon. Okay, now we've joined our grids together. And jeez, you can see if you stick with this, you know, even with this kind of minimal amount of stuff that's built, you need a lot of them. Getting to coal power will kind of be our next thing. Right, so these are off. Super. Uh, just to make things a little quicker, we're going to grab what's been produced by these. And I've started talking like William Shatner. Oh God! How'd you pick? Control or shift? Please. Right. So we're just going to complete this episode by feeding out stuff. So we're going to feed out that, we're going to feed out magnets, this is by no means the best way of doing this. Like I say, I don't do maths, well, I mean I do do maths but not with games, I find it deeply uninteresting to play games in that way. Uh, I've got nothing against people who do. I mean, you've got people like Francis John, uh, Nihilus, particularly. I learned, I've learned a lot about the games I played from, from those guys, amongst others. Um, but I can't, I just can't play like they do. I, not because I physically can't, just because after a while I don't find it enjoyable. I'd rather kind of just, I'd rather play by feel. Uh, I think it's, it's just more fun for me. You know, uh, you want to mean Max? Fine. Uh, you know, go look for the channels that I've just mentioned. Francis John, uh, Nihilus, they play these games and they play them to a very, very min maxy kind of efficient way. Uh, there are certain things I'm going to be nicking off them. Um, to because I find them fun uh, and they make life easier. <clears throat> but generally speaking, I'm not going to start seeing their game. I need exactly this number of wind turbines, and, and this miner is going to provide exactly enough uh, this many smelters and this many. I can't, I can't play like that. I don't want to play like that. Uh, right, we need more conveyors uh, just to finish off. I mean, look how untidy that is, it sucks. Um, but yeah, conveyors, 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 and then we'll call this this episode Diddly Diddly Done. Right, so we're going to bring that out here. I'll say there are better ways of doing this. Oh, lack of item. When we start automating the production of these, it's so much better. Okay, so let's start bringing this stuff out. And here. Alright, it takes a while. Your building speed does get quicker, obviously, as you do upgrades. But like I say, the upgrades are really expensive. Uh, you use less energy if you're near what you're building. Uh, so, yeah, we're really running out of fuel. Uh, ah, crap, I've done something wrong there. Ugh. properly 
Right, uh, just to tidy up this conveyor that I made a mistake. You can control and just pick up all this crap. There we go. Now we have tidy lines. And we've just got to go pick up this coal. It's going to mine this coal. Right, so now we are lovingly creating iron ingots, magnets, and copper ore. Uh, this is all we need to produce circuit boards, magnetic coils, and that's what we're going to do next episode. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Kick the sh out of that notification button. Completely Glasgow kisses. The like button. Uh, and I'll see you in the next vid. Which I'm going to actually record right now. So if you think I don't change my clothes. That's not the case. I'm just splitting these episodes into half hour. Okay. Uh, latest potatoes. No!